Right, we're outside Robin Clarkson's yard. Uh, she's got eight runners on Wednesday. Uh, let's go in and find out what she's got to say about them uh, at this moment. Yeah, let's go find out and see what she says. Hopefully she can give us a winner. Right, with Robin Clarkson uh, at a stable. We're right outside Purple Peach Pictures box. Um, Robin, before we get on to your runners, um, how do you, well done on the derby, first of all. And uh, what's his plans? Thank you, Johnny. Um, look, he's come out of the race really well, um, a lot better than I expected. Um, I know horses generally take that race really hard, um, but he's ready to um, kill someone. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to give him a bit of a break, but um, he's, uh, he needs to come back to the track because he's going to hurt himself. So um, the, the plan was to go into the daily news and then into the July, but um, look, we'll see how it goes with him. He may actually need something in Prior between. to that. Yeah, the way that he's going, but um, that's the plan. I'm sure you will find a race for him and he looks an absolute picture. Um, right, let's go on to your runners on Wednesday. Let's start with the first, uh, you've got to run in the first Streisand, a filly by William Longsword. Yeah, she's a very, very nice filly. Um, she, I do think she's going to need this run. We're just sending her out for a bit of an, an educational run. So um, not looking for, for anything special there, just uh, teaching. Teach her a good run. And then in race three, you got the cane train. Must have improved a lot from her, from her first run. Yeah, he was very, very green first time out. Um, but I was very happy with that run. I thought it was a really good run from him. Um, looking for, for big improvement there. He's a he's a nice big galloping type horse, so I, I do think he's going to enjoy the the straight at the vol. Um, looking for a big effort from Good him run. tomorrow. Then in race six, you got two runners. Let's start uh, with uh, Meteoric. Yeah, Meteoric. She's she's never run the course and distance before. There's just unfortunately no races for her. Um, she hasn't run since January. She's going to need this run. She's just going out to, to get out of her box because there's just nothing for her. And in the same uh, same race, uh, Elum, good run after the rest, I thought. Yeah, very, very much improved run last time. Um, she d she was carded again after that, and I really thought that she'd run a good race there, but she had a bit of an accident in the while we were saddling, and she hit her head quite hard, and she had to be scratched that day, unfortunately. Um, so that was a little bit of a setback, but she... Yeah, look, I think she, she recovered from that quite well, but unfortunately, I think she might just need this run a little bit again. Cool, thank you. And then race eight, you also got two runners, Little Miss Moneybags and Phoenix Fox. Let's start with Little Miss Moneybags. Little Miss Moneybags, she's she's a filly with a, a couple of niggles. Um, she always comes into races with excuses. There's always something, you know, yeah, whether yeah. it's... Whatever Bumping it is. this, yeah. yeah. It's always something. But um, she's actually for the first time come into a race with no excuses. So um, I think I think she's going to run a good race. I do think that the thousand is a little bit on the sharp side for her, for her over the twelve. But um, hoping for a good run. And X Fox, I think, needs to improve a little bit, Robin. Yeah, she does. Um, I, I do think that she's better than her her latest form suggests, but. Um, She's going to need this run anyway. And then race eight, uh, I think you're one of the first trainers to run a two-year-old Penetibo in open company. Um, I'm a big fan of that. I think if they're ready to, if they, I think at this time of the year they could be strong enough to take open company. She must have improved quite a lot on her first run. Yeah, she has. Uh, I am a little bit nervous about the open company. You shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she's just, um, she needs to run. She's just, you know, she's jumping out of her skin at home and she needs to run. So. This came up and, you know, we will just see how it goes. Yeah, I think it'll all be okay. Uh, she's a really lovely filly and that form line is turning out to be quite strong. It so, is. So I think uh, she's an nice horse to follow in the future. Perfect. Thank you, Robin. Thank you for giving us time. And obviously, he's also quite interested in what's happening up, Purple Pitcher. And I hope you have a very, very good uh, winter season with him. Thank you very much.